James. You ready? Y'all ready? Where is it? Where is it? I didn't label the damn thing the right way. Uh-huh. I just loaded it up. Let me ask y'all something because the, the question, because, no, let me play the video first. And then here, okay. Bill is mad this morning. In all the homes where there's two men. I call it Mudville. There, there's no, there's no mother to celebrate because there's no female in there. And I don't care how he tries, you're not a female. You can be the top sissy or the bottom sissy, you're still a man. You're not a female. There's no mother. There's no mother in that house. Praise the Lord. So we come here today to celebrate mothers. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. I'm going to play that one more time because he said something that got lit, that got cut. Bill is mad this morning. In all the homes where there's two men. I call it Mudville. There, there's no, there's no mother to celebrate because there's no female in there. And I don't care how he tries, you're not a female. You can be the top sissy or the bottom sissy, you're still a man. You're not a female. There's no mother. There's no mother in that house. Praise the Lord. So we come here today to celebrate mothers. Yes, sir. All right. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, honey. Okay. You heard him, Larry. Just the fuck he did say Mudville because he wanted to say Shitville. You understand where he was going with that bullshit? Okay. Let me ask this question. What is it that, because I've been seeing it, he's one of them, it's another one. What's the name? Gino Jennings or whatever the fuck his name is. And it's another one out there. Okay, it's three of them that I've come across lately. And then, of course, we got Juanita Bynum. You know, when she's talking about the boys and the suits and carrying on, we, we still got Kim Burrell out there on her bullshit. What is it with all these pastors that want to come for the Rainbow Alphabet children? Now, let me tell you something. I, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to give a fuck about who make who, who get mad about it. I give two cents less than a good goddamn. Okay. I wish somebody would come and challenge my motherhood. Yes, because I'm a mother of a house. And I know damn well I was born male. I got a penis and two testicles like every man that was born. But I dare you to come to me and tell me how much of a mother I ain't. Because, bitch, everything about what I do for mine, I'm mama and daddy. You understand? Now, I can nurture I can sit down there, all them damn things that you say women supposed to do. I cook, I clean, I sew buttons on motherfucking shirts. I go up there to the school and make sure that my kids is, and, and can on were in the school when I was dealing with my brothers and sisters and things and I was helping raise them. Listen, I could run a household. I balance a budget, bitch. I go grocery shopping. I know how to sit up there and make a motherfucking meal out of nothing. I wish a bitch would come and tell me how much of a mother I ain't because I'm male. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you and the shit that you stand on because just like this, and let me ask every last one of you who's supposed to be traditional Christians and say you want to be like Jesus, if you can say Jesus as a mother to the motherless and a father to the fatherless, how come I can't and I say I want to be just like him? I'll wait.
I'm going to say that one more time. If my goal was to be like Jesus as a Christian or as a believer, and you can sit up there and preach he's a mother to the motherless and a father to the fatherless, how come I can't be? Because hmm? it's all about energy. I know when my babies come through here, I know exactly what, what energy they need. I know exactly how to talk to them, too. I know when they need mama, and I know when they need daddy. You understand? I know when they need auntie, and I know when they need motherfucking uncle. You understand? I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would. Male, female, I don't give a fuck. I wish a bitch would come and challenge anything about my motherhood. Here? Because I'm a male. Here, there's, there's females out there who are not able to have children. But they have become nurturers. They have become the community mothers. Do you understand that? And and don't live in the household. They, they may be in the house without kids. How fucking dare you sit down there and diminish a community because you want to be biblically correct or at least spout this shit that you think is biblical because it's the word. Ain't that a bitch? And then here's the part. You want to go whether you're the top sissy or the bottom sissy. Ooh, really? Really? The top sissy or the bottom sissy? Bitch, wait a minute. Stop the presses. Stop the presses. Stop. Please stop. Ha! <laughs> because that one was a new one on me. Coming from the pulpit. And it's been a long time since I had a new one come from the pulpit, right? <laughs> so now we, we now you, you sit up there top sissy, bottom sissy and folks, right? Okay, you're coming for that, right? And why why could it just be the homosexual? Now they got to be sissies. Okay. And everything about about my definition of sissy said that anybody who doesn't know how to take care of business. A sissy is a wimp, somebody who wimps out on shit. And I know motherfucking well, honey, there's very few gay folks who are sissies. And the bitches who are, I don't fuck with. Okay? And the bitches who are, I don't, I don't fuck with motherfucking sissies, bitch. How dare you act as if you don't know how to take care of yourself, bitch? What? Excuse you. Excuse your existence, honey. Wait a minute. Uh -uh, there's got to be some kind of protocol here. Because even if you are a feminist, you say you are a bitch, all of us who are fem queens and butch queens, bitch, we all knew that the strength of a woman is everything. That's what we emulate. All of us, honey, come from where we understood Wonder Woman, the Bionic Woman. We understood Get Christy Love. We understood Cleopatra Jones. We understood Charlie Daniels. We understood Police Woman. Bitch, what the fuck are you doing? You better judo chop some shit, bitch. You better fling a motherfucker over there. You better bad girl kick this motherfucker. Bitch, what is wrong with you? We don't tolerate sissy shit like that. And you want to say top sissy, bottom sissy, like you done said something. Fuck you and the, and the shit that you stand on, honey. Which lets me know you done been tipping or want to tip or, or somebody been telling you about tipping. Top sissy, bottom sissy. What? Tell by. <laughs> yeah, that's a under my skin. Uh uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me go. Let me go to the comments. Let me go to the comments. Let me go to the comments, honey. Ah. Oh. Just too near trying to get caught up with your combo. Oh, come on up in here, honey. You you'll catch it. Guess <laughs> that church is not all inclusive. Shaking my head. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay. So does that foolishness apply to the ladies who choose to celebrate themselves on Father's Day? How about that? Because you now get out of my head, Buck. Okay. 
Hey, Rob, what's going on, baby? Big means you have empathy and sympathy where my mother didn't. Dad was the nurturer in our house. Mom was more selfish, even though she knew she knows how to cook and clean. Okay. Okay, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what the fuck he said, a bastard. What happened to judge not lest ye be judged? Listen, you know what? Here's what that is, Buck. Now catch this. Because as long as the quote unquote judgment is about sin and they quote unquote calling out sin, then they don't consider that a judgment call, honey. That there was calling out sin. But yet you sit up there and say, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So you preach that from the pulpit, but because you are, quote unquote, calling out sin, see, that's not a judgment call. That there is just, that there is, 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 is standing on the word. See, this is how all this shit become convoluted. Believe in having a y'all know that because I'm a very spiritual person and I was born and raised in the Christian faith. Okay, however, since I became my own person and I had to get rid of grandma's Jesus, I had to get rid of my mama's Jesus, I had to get rid of my brother's Jesus, I had to get rid of my daddy's Jesus, I had to get rid of everybody else's Jesus and God. And ideologies and concepts, and I had to understand who God is for me and to me. And in that, there's nothing nobody can tell me about it. I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me about my life. You can't tell me about my relationship. And in this instance, because we just celebrated Mother's Day, you ain't going to tell me nothing about my mother to my kids and those who call me mother, because I got those who call me mama. And I got those who call me daddy. And then I got those who call me big papa. Now get that. Now fuck with it if you want to. Then I got big daddy. Mm. Okay. Don't fuck with this. Don't fuck with it. Yes, and I got a baby daddy. Now how about that? Okay. And I got a baby daddy. Someone who is the masculine of the, you know, uh, come in as a father type and help nurture in the in the massive, more masculine way that I could be, because that was his personality and that's who he is. So yes, we had a a, a two parent household situation, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and 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 being a mother of a house. For those of you who don't like that, I don't listen. I see, this is what they don't understand because I got to deal with the shit that y'all keep throwing away, that y'all keep saying ain't, that God don't love and this, that, and the other. Do you realize what it is to repair that? To repair a broken man? Huh? To repair a broken man. Because it's more than just crazy glue, damn it. And you do realize that even though using crazy glue that you don't repair it 100% because there's still chips that you didn't get. Those little slivers that you couldn't put together. Oh, it looks perfect, okay? The arm on that coffee pot, honey, is standing still, but if you look closely, it's still a couple of chips that didn't quite make it. But you gotta look close, right? Because it's not 100%. Because it, it, it was shattered, it was in pieces. And we got to put it back together. So, yes, I know how to be nurturing and I know how to sit down there and be encouraging and I know how to sit down there and be loving and be accepting and understand about what it is to be unconditional loving. Because most fathers don't know that. Fathers only know brute and strength and get out there and get a job. And they're the discipline. You know what I'm saying? They're, 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 they're the structure. The mothers are the nurturers, the ones that sit down there and 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 will bless you out, and yet kiss the boo boo at the same time, beat your ass. You know what 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 Ving Rhames say in Holiday Heart? He said, "Honey, I, I I will beat hell out you. I, I will praise the Lord, but beat hell about you, okay? And 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 oh no, pray for you and beat hell about you. However the, the saying goes, but that's what a mother does, okay? And it's all about the energy." which is why many folks find 
you got your, you know how many got, got your work mama on your job, huh? the one who could come in and it's just like that mother figure on the job, okay? And that there's the same kind of energy because you can find a mother type figure anywhere, okay? And I, child, please, you can't tell me. I wish, child, please, I will beat somebody's ass for real. Don't you ever question my mother, them, because I'm not female, because there's many females who can't have children. How about that? There's many females, honey, who are not mothers because they never gave their kids up. They don't want it. They didn't have the. They didn't have the fortitude to be. Huh? Are you gonna say, bitch? If you please, I wish you would. I probably outmother your motherfucking wife, bitch, just because she had your goddamn kids. That don't mean she's a mother, honey. That just means she's a mama because she had them goddamn kids. She bore children. Good. What does that mean? Understanding how to nurture their talents and push them in the direction that, that they seem that they want to go. Encouraging them to be their very best. Understanding their shortcomings. Not cussing them out because they don't get it the way that you get. Understanding that each child is individual. And you got to understand, you got to understand how each child functions. Could you imagine that? Imagine the mothers of old, our grandmothers, our great grandmothers that had 12, 13, 14, 17 children. You got 17 different personalities in that motherfucking house. 17 different personalities. And God help you if they Pisces and Gemini's, because then that then it's doubled and triple and quadrupled. Okay. All these different personalities that you got to understand and 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 put together and know who your children are. Understanding that look, I could look at you, but you you everybody know that mama stare, bitch. And I got hmm. Do I <laughs> My aunt said this to my to my cousin. Do I got to turn around and look at you? Ooh, baby, that was a, I had just met my aunt. I did not know she existed. Okay, this is my mother's eldest sister, Mary Ann. And sweetheart, when I tell you, she and my mother were twins. My mama, the baby girl. Okay. Mama, the baby girl, Marianne was the eldest girl, okay? And they're 14 years apart. And her son, Terry, and I are 14 years apart. Both of my mama and Marianne are Geminis. Terry and me are Pisces. And both of us are gay, okay? Hmm, catch that. And this was at my grandmother's repast or whatever. And Marianne was over at my uncle's house and Karen and we talking and, 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 Terry talking, running his mouth about Marianne and her husband, Leroy. Now, Marianne was married to Leroy, and Mama was married to Larry. Okay, both of them dealing with motherfuckers who want to box, right? So, uh, Terry is going through telling this story about how, you know, Marianne had kicked him down the steps or whatever, whatever, right? And I'm all proud and shit because I'm like, well, mama took daddy over the table. You know, I'm, we exchanged the stories. And Marianne turned on, she said, okay, Terry, that's enough. And Terry got the laugh. He said, oh, mama, da, 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 da. And he's still going. And she turned around. She, she said, I said, that's enough. Now quit talking. And Terry kept bumping them gums. And baby, she turned around. Do I got to turn around and look at you? Baby? The hair on my back stood up because I heard my mama come out of her mouth. And I know what my mama, with that tone, was a slap coming, right? I knew. <laughs> Terry's eyes got like mine because we both had saucers like, like in the cartoons. <laughs> and that's when I knew that Marianne was my mama's sister, right? That's when I knew it. And they looked up, like Marion was, was, she was very fair skinned, a high yellow, as we called them. But she and my mother looked alike, right? 
Uh, but oh, it wasn't until then that I got it. I was like, oh my God, my mama just came out of her mouth. And that's her older sister. Oh, Lord have mercy. Two of them, Jesus. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. And so, <laughs> being around that and being raised by women like that, honey, I listen. Uh uh. You will never, ever, ever come from my motherhood. You will never do it. You will never do it. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck how you do it. All of my kids, honey, all of my kids will stand up and vouch. And even the ones who don't like me. <laughs> okay. Even the ones that don't like me. My daughter, my heterosexual daughter, honey, Miss Kanisha, her ass, honey, she got she felt the brunt. But I had to get her together. Okay. I had to teach her how to be a woman. And this idea put women. See now, here's where it is because I'm 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 not I'm not arrogant enough to think that I that I knew all it was to be a woman because I'm not female. You understand? So I had to make sure I had positive females around to to carry her over. You understand? To carry her over because I could only give her what I got and understanding what a woman is. But I needed a female there to carry her over so that she could have that connection. Do you understand? That's what when I tell you a man can't raise no woman and a woman can't raise no, that's what I mean. I knew what my limitations were. So because I'm not female, and yet I was a mother, I had to go get a female who was able to carry her over. I could take her to the line, honey, but shit, hey, okay, baby, you on your own here. I, I got some help on the other side. Now you got to cross that line, grab her hand, and she'll take you over. You understand? I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would. Hmm. Mm -mm. I used to get offended when my kids wouldn't send me nothing for Mother's Day or wouldn't call me for Mother's Day. I used to when I was younger because I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. For the hell that I went through, your biological mama wasn't there when you did all this bullshit. That was me. Your mama don't know them tears. You crying over this motherfucking man. We got to sit up here and wonder what the hell is going on. I got to come and take you to the hospital with shit because you done set up and, and fell out. Okay? Your mama wasn't there when this man broke your heart, bitch. And we sitting outside in the car because you want to go play stakeout in front of the man's car. Yeah, Pete, I'm talking about your ass. You want to play stakeout because you mad and I'm there to make sure you don't go to motherfucking jail, bitch. I'm in the car with you instead of letting you be by yourself. I'm there as a ride or die to make sure shit don't jump off. <laughs> and you're in the beginning here. You you said mama, the mother's day car. But I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Where's mine? You know, oh, that used to, that, that used to burn me back in the day. Now, you know, I've gotten over that because I know the work that I've done with my children speaks volumes. And I know that what I was doing and what I do is ministry. Now, that is what you're not going to take from me either, because see, that's the other thing that you Christian children, you traditional Christian children don't want to accept. And that there is every male, especially gay men who call themselves mother. That there is ministry because we're dealing with the people that you threw away. We're dealing with the people that you say is going to burn in hell. We're dealing with those people and show them how God still loves them when the church won't. So you will never, ever, ever come from my motherhood, whether I'm the top sissy, the bottom sissy, or both, motherfucker. You will never come from my motherhood. Yes, I take that so motherfucking personal. And thank God I was not sitting in his service when he did that. Thank God I was not sitting there. Because you were never mm -mm, mm -mm. not with my ministry, not with what it is that I do, not with what it is that we have to do, 
Not with what it is when we got to, when we taking these babies off these streets and carrying on. Not when we have to sit down there and mold them and shape them and and, and build their esteem. We have to build their esteem so they can understand it's self-esteem. We have to build it and then they get it to where it becomes self-esteem at that point. You understand? Build it so that they know they all right. Show them their flaws. Let them make their mistakes because they're kids mentally. I don't care how old they are. When they come to when they come to these doors, they're kids. You got to see where they are. They may even be teenagers. How about that? Because some of my kids came to me as teenagers, you know, mentally. You know, they're, they're going through that pubescent period, you know, out and about, thinking they're grown, they could do whatever the fuck they want to do. And you got to structure. You got to structure that so that they can be progressive and positive and productive citizens. So when they go out, they're able to handle this world on their terms as gay men or, or, or and I got straight kids and whatever their sexual orientation is you have to give them the tools you have to give them the tools in order to go out there so no you're not gonna come from my motherhood honey no the fuck you ain't no you ain't you can have whatever you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe about it but you will never come from mine <laughs> Deal with them other bitches who gonna let you talk that foolishness, honey. But you will never, ever come from mine. You hear me? And I said what the fuck it is I said, and I meant. And I stand ten toes down and waist deep in it, bitch. And I'm six foot four. So you do the math. Damn, I'm empty.